Hey everybody, this is Fran Frischella, draft expert and basketball junkie. To everybody who's watching, let's get our friends at General Manager Games the subscribers they deserve. Just press that red subscriber button and immerse yourself in sports AI through GM Games content. And on Twitter, it's GM underscore games. Let's get after it. Let's go. All right. Hello and welcome back. So sorry for the uh, abrupt ending to last video. Completely forgot about progs. Here we go. So going to have to make some cuts, but um, good news is Tyler Adams did prog positively. Um, looking at running back, Price will work with swoops. Um, no real surprises there. Wide receiver, C.D. Lawrence is going to be the number one. Morden's going to, finally back to wide receiver will be the two. Um, we'll probably see a little bit of Dawkins towards the end of the season as well. Tight end, same story as normal. Um, we're really good now um, at alignment. Uh, D lineman, not too bad. Muhammad Woods taking a big step up. Um, looking at uh, defensive backs, we're solid. I know I skipped linebacker by accident. Looking at linebacker, we could use some help. I suppose Jamil Jones will slot in as the third starting linebacker. Oof. But um, either way, we're just going to go uh, cut a whole bunch of players. So starting at quarterback here, uh, Chris Jones is gone. Um, Brian Rivers is gone. Wagner is absolutely gone. Um, McKenzie is gone. So we'll have Lifeu Sullivan. Ronnie Randall is also gone. There we go. Let's go with my three young quarterbacks. Looking at running back, uh, we'll probably cut Davis. He hasn't done anything in three seasons since being drafted. Um, that leaves us with a pretty solid committee. We could use to add a wide receiver, definitely. Um, we have a lot of O-line guys, so I guess Howell can be expendable. Looking at defensive line here, we could definitely use some more quality, but we'll cut a couple of these bottom feeders, so to speak. Um, we could use help at linebacker and uh, all of our um, other spots in the backfield, um, or in the defensive back role. So, we'll uh, see if there's anything out there, starting at uh, quarterback. Kerry Taylor, um, who? He has all of the passing badges, coming off of a great season. Honestly, I'm thinking of doing a rent-a-cop season with him. Is he... Tyler Adams is just as good, though. You know, I don't think it's worth it for the financial cost. I might regret that later on. Especially if I get fired because I didn't do that move. Running back, nothing out there. Wide receiver. Any potential, maybe? No. Nothing. All right. I mean, we probably should sign. Nah, we'll just roll with the punches here. Uh, we'll sign Chancellor, I suppose. Why not? The Olan Howells out there. Did I not just cut him? I think I literally just cut him. Yep. Great. I released the best offensive line guy. Oops. <laughs> Small mistakes, you know? Zach Gravio might play, I suppose. Jordan Green, perhaps. Linebacker. I think this is the crown jewel of what's out there. Former seventh round pick, but we'll pick him up. Not much else. There really isn't much out there there, but we'll pick up a guy. Maybe one of them. maybe he does something. Alright, this might be the position where you get the most value. I say that optimistically, but pessimistic, if I'm being honest. Alright, we'll see if there's a decent wide receiver prospect, perhaps. Brag. Seventh round pick. Cool. Alright. And 
now we'll set our starters. So, Life will definitely back up Adams, no question there. Looking at running back here, uh, Price is definitely a starter. Swoops is definitely coming in as the backup. Uh, I'll probably give more than some range. I mean, last two seasons he really didn't do too much, but originally I did think he could be potentially my backup, uh, my consistent backup, so I guess he'll slot in at three. Um, meanwhile, C.D. Lawrence, Morden, Castle, Dawkins all make sense. Um, no questions there. Hunter, tight ends, that's fine. Um, Owen, we got some depth. Well, within all the other positions, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, it's going to be really weird, uh, especially with a seventh round pick from last season who didn't even make the opening day roster, didn't even, didn't even get cut. He didn't even get cut. Um, but he went up pretty big in the offseason, so yeah. Um, looking at CB. Honestly, we're not too bad there. Uh, I, I'm actually going to roll with Drake just because um, he has a lockdown badge. Um, looking at safety, we're okay. Roosevelt Marshall probably will play a little bit more. Um, yeah, Lil Ingle is going to stay over the Doink Master. Dude, this guy, he had, I think, an okay season. He was 85% the year before, then 80% with us on 63 attempts, uh, on, uh, on 33 attempts, which isn't horrible. He only missed a handful, but, um, 76, 78% last season for Luingo, and he was the second best kicker in the league. Um, but he didn't doink a very important kick, you know? That means a lot. The doinking is not good. Um, Luingo will also be the backup punter this year. Uh, Glenn Dupuy taking over on special teams. That seems like a natural thing to just move over to another running back. Um, with that, we'll just go straight into it. So, here we go. Let's see if we can pick up a win or two early in the season with Adams. Ouch. First loss is just by a score. Honestly, our running game was miserable. That's not a great sign. Running was kind of our thing. Ouch. Ouch. Starting 0-3. Absolutely miserable so far this season. If we can pick up a win, I, it's going to help with a little bit with confidence here, but what a bad start to the season. At least our wide receivers. We have, might actually have a 1,000-yard receiver. That's, that'd be a step in the right direction. Um, but our defense is not playing great. I mean, we've given, we only gave up one 30-point game. We're only allowed above 20 twice. So we're not actually that bad. We're just not playing great right now. Um, that was a big step up right there. Uh, we were able to get 20 points on the board for the first time this season. Um, we're like the Jets on offense right now. Rough. Um, CJ Swoops is having a really great year, uh, for us. Um, which is in line with his previous seasons. He might, might potentially take on the starting role. I like Price a lot, and I'd rather see Price succeeding, but he's really not putting up the stats he needs to. Um, we just had our best offensive game of the season. I want to see who's behind that, because if it's, um, wow, so it's actually Roosevelt Marshall had a great game. Um, Greg Baker had a solid game. Price had an indifferent game, it looks like. I think he scored two touchdowns, though. Yeah, he scored two touchdowns, but 21 carries and a fumble loss in under 70 yards. That's, yeah, swoops. Stealing the show with a big game. 71-yard rushing touchdown. Uh, second rushing touchdown on the game. And we had three receiving touchdowns, including great one by Morden. Yeah, Swoops has now usurped um, the role of starter from Price. Did he miss that game with an injury? He must have, yeah. He missed that game with an injury, and he's no longer the starter when he comes back. I mean... How could he be? You know, Swoops just had an insane game. 
even Morden pretty clearly had broken out too. Um, our team is now actually playing really well all of a sudden. Uh, Adams is on fire right now. Um, and, and largely thanks to Swoops and Morden, we're having pretty great... Damn. We just had a major injury to one of our O-line guys. I have to see if he went down, because that might have... Shoot. Yeah, going down two. That's a blow. We're going to miss him for the rest of the regular season. We might not make the playoffs because of that injury. Um, we'll see if our offense can stay stable without him. Um, yeah, so far so good. I mean, putting up stats as swoops. We're going to have potentially two 200 yard carry players. Ouch. That's a that's a black eye right there. Our team just got walloped um, by New York. And then Detroit back-to-back -back wallops. Eh, it wasn't really a wallop as much as a they beat us. Price with three receiving touchdowns. So Price now all of a sudden making a play to potentially be the starter. Um, damn. Adams had a four-touchdown game. Um, Price really playing well in this committee um, with three touchdowns, 22 yards a catch. Um, honestly, our receivers are playing really solid, and Price is working really well in this committee so far. This is a, a really potential dynamic duo that's developing. Hill Lawrence is also proving to be a really solid number one target. Um He's consistently being over 60 yards, consistently picking up touchdowns and catches, and Adams is looking good. He's looking like a damn good pick. Ouch. What happened here? So, Adams just had 116 yards. Um, from a running back standpoint, Price was just held in check. Swoops actually had a solid game. Um, Alex Cook continues to be our kryptonite so to speak um an 84 yard burner on us um and baker let us in in yards that tells you what you need to know about that game there we go so we've made the playoffs we'll be against la and we finished the season not too bad tyler adams uh looking like a really solid um, option for us. If he went ten and five, because I guess one game he got he got hurt. Um, but he stayed remarkably healthy. He played phenomenally with twenty two touchdowns, nine interceptions. <sighs> Sorry, it's late for me. Um, running back wise, swoops went over a thousand. Um, technically, Price did too. Um, yeah, they're a really solid and dynamic duo. Both uh, over 170 carries. Um, Morden had that one crazy game. He's going to go down as like Sammy Coates. I'm telling you. Like, he literally had this one game where he had 205 rushing receiving yards. And then on season, he's under 400. Or under 500. Like, damn. Um, looking at tight end. Yeah, we did pretty solid across the board here. Um, let's see if we can win a game in the playoffs. That, that'd be kind of cool here. NFQ1, NFQ2. We're actually got a pretty commanding lead. Um, so in the fourth quarter here, uh, Adams has just 83 yards passing. They're over. They're almost at 200. But Price um, is having a solid game. Swoops not so much. Honestly, it's just a defensive battle right now. That's it. So. Um, Adams dropping back, Cecile Lawrence drops back and complete price zero yards. Oh wow, we just went for it on four. Oh great, that's lovely. We went for it. Why did we go for it? We're up three. Swoops is definitely involved in this offense. They might. 
pull ahead here. They're on our 41, 34, 34 still, 27, we just can't stop them. They punted. They should have kicked that field goal. Adams, you just need to convert a little bit here. Adams is really struggling in this game. Like, absolutely horribly. Swoops rush for six yards. Illegal motion on Swoops. Time on the offense. Fourth and 14. They return the punt. We might be able to stop them. They're in the red zone now. Oh, damn. Honestly, Adams, you need to redeem yourself. You have 90 yards in the playoffs. Adams incomplete. Adams, four yards. So, we're just not making enough time here. Complete. Oh, and they punt to the... That's over. That's, that's game. Fucking... Sorry. Uh, God, that's miserable. Yeah, 10 for 31 for 90 yards. We lost to Joel Lawrence because their starting running back was... Yeah, we, we should not have lost that game. We lost that game because of an incompetent quarterback. That is highly unfortunate. That's like the type of thing where you like... Damn. Honestly, if I got fired, I would never touch Adams again. That's infuriating. Alright, so we're now in a pretty awkward spot when it comes to draft picks. Kind of just glad I didn't get fired, but at the same time, wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. All right, let's see what we can build in the off season. Of course, keep C.D. Lawrence around. Tremaine Price and C.J. Swoops. I'm tempted to bring Swoops back. I mean, he just had the best season of his career for us. Um, so I'm actually definitely going to keep him around for a couple. But Price, you're showing, showing clear signs of going downhill. I mean, this is your worst year for us. By a mile. Um, and you were not even really that effective this season. To pay you $2 million would be a bad move. I mean, after three seasons, you're supposed to... You're, you're supposed to be entering your prime, but you're very clearly on the way out now. So, uh, I'm not I'm not going to keep Price around. It, it sucks, but that's what's going to happen. Uh, Dupuis has potential, especially as a special teamer. Um, he's definitely coming back. We'll see. He might even get a bigger role in the passing game. Uh, Baker is consistently a good pass catching tight end. That's kind of all he is. Um, but he, he's sticking around. Um, I don't see a bunch of other guys I really want to keep around. Like, I kind of want to spend the money in free agency here. Not much I uh, see in value out there. Yo, I'm happy we made the playoffs, but I'm not going to lie. That was a very frustrating playoff appearance. Um, Adams really, really frustrated me with that game. All right, I do want to get a real centerpiece running back. I guess George Ham uh, Hamilton could potentially be um, an option. I don't know if I want to pay him that much, though. See, the thing is, I could also probably take a rookie there. 
Bolden had a good career as a wide receiver type guy. Uh, that could be useful. And then... I kind of want to say Zach Johnson. See what he's got? He hasn't played in a bit. Worst case, he's not that useful. Looking at wide receiver, I'd really like to add some depth here. I think I'm going to add... Uh, let's add a couple of cheap guys at the bottom here. No need to really muddy up our system. Tight end. Affordable. Chris Taylor. We'll probably pick him up. Um... O lineman, I'd love to add another star O line. There we go. 75, take it. Defensive lineman, we could use a star here as well. Um, we're going to pick up two really solid defensive linemen. Look at linebackers. Damn, that was an insane season. Pick up more then. And we'll pick up a couple cheapies. Alright, now we'll get safety. Honestly, pretty happy with our team, I think. Alright. And uh, I will see you guys next episode. Thank you.